Now let's go to Carol Evans, Brad Woodard, who has learned more about the suspect and the ongoing legal battle with the victim. Well, Paul, the conservatorship of her father's estate appears to be at the center of this fatal dispute. Susan, Berkovitz, Susan Berkovitz's 95-year-old father died in July. The conservatorship had been awarded to her now deceased cousin, as well as some relatives in California. Berkovitz has been contesting this for months. She's been in and out of court two dozen times with the victims of today's shootings. And while those shootings took place in Hennepin County, Berkovitz is no stranger to the Ramsey County court system. That's correct. She was known around here. Uh, she had a number of cases pending and uh, had made various appearances in front of quite a few judges over the years. And how would you describe her demeanor? At one point, uh, the, the assistant chief was prompted to place some restrictions on her. What brought that about? She had filed a series of lawsuits and documents frequently not uh, complying with court rules or process and uh, of a nature that um, the attorneys and people on the other side objected to. The court staff had some difficulties with her in terms of just being very insistent about what she wanted. And so there were restrictions placed on, on her by the assistant chief judge in the hearing. And those restrictions included going through the assistant chief judge anytime she wanted to have contact with court staff or anytime she wanted to file any documents. Speaking of documents, we have hundreds of them. We're going through them and uh, they include correspondence between Berkovitz and uh, the shooting victims and obviously we'll have more on that for you tonight at 10. Paul? All right, Brad. Thank you very much.